The lime kiln plant converts calcium carbonate to calcium oxide. Lime reburning is part of the chemical circuit called lime cycle. Lime is a recirculating auxiliary chemical used to convert green liquor coming from the recovery boiler to white liquor. This is accomplished in the recausticizing plant. The recausticizing equipment and the lime reburning equipment together form the lime cycle. The processes in the lime kiln plant happens as follows. It starts with lime mud drying. Washed and mechanically dewatered lime mud is fed from the lime mud filter by a conveyor into the screw feeder and further into the lime mud dryer of the lime kiln. The lime mud dryer is a vertical duct starting directly from the lime kiln feed end and is tangentially connected to the cyclone. Lime mud is fed into the flue gas flow. It is carried with the flue gas to the cyclone and flash dry to about 100% dryness. The cyclone separates the dry lime mud from the flue gas. Then flue gas enters to the flue gas handling system. Flue gases from the lime kiln contain variable amounts of dust, normally 5 to 15 percent of the kiln production. The lime dust is separated from the flue gas in the electrostatic precipitator and returns to the lime kiln. An ID fan transfers flue gases from the kiln through the flue gas duct to the electrostatic precipitator and further to the stack. The dry lime mud from the cyclone proceeds to the lime reburning process. The main equipment in the lime reburning is the lime kiln. It is a horizontal cylindrical brick lined steel drum installed on a slight slope so that the lime is conveyed from the feed end to the firing end as the kiln rotates. Lime regeneration is called reburning because the reaction requires a relatively high temperature and thus needs a lot of heat in the kiln. Dissociation of lime mud to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide commences at a temperature over 850 degrees Celsius. The reaction is greatly accelerated when the temperature rises. To obtain proper reaction speed, reburning is carried out at approximately 1100 degrees Celsius. The objective of the lime reburning is to obtain homogeneous and porous lime with low residual carbonate, which will slake easily, and the resulted lime mud can be easily separated from the white liquor. A steady and trouble-free kiln operation is a vital precondition for successful burning. In the lime kiln, the retention time is three to five hours, during which lime mud is preheated and lime particles are formed. Slow heating towards the burning temperature and the right burning temperature result in a homogeneous product. Next, the lime goes through the lime handling process. The lime leaving the kiln contains a significant amount of heat. The heat is recovered in a sector cooler. The lime cool is used to transfer heat from the product to the secondary combustion air entering the kiln. The lime cool is installed around the kiln shell over the burning zone and rotates with the kiln. From the sector cooler, the fine lime falls through the diverter gate directly to the burnt lime conveyor. Bigger lime particles drop to another diverter gate and then via crusher onto the burnt lime conveyor. From the conveyor, the lime falls onto the burnt lime elevator, which will lift it further into the burnt lime bin. To make all this possible, it is necessary to have a burning system. A burner is located at the firing end of the lime kiln and provides the heat for calcining the lime mud. 
There are various different fuels which can be used for burning. The burning system consists of burners for selected fuels, fuel handling, ignition gas handling, compressed air and steam handling as well as flame control and safety systems.